We now know what we mean by the least square solution of the system A axis B. We replace B by its projection on the columns of A, B hat. And we solve the new system A e x equals B hat. Let us do this for an explicit example in this video. So over here we have our A and we have a B and let's call the matrix A equals column A1, column A2. And let's see whether we can find the least square solution of AX is B. So first we need to compute B hat. Fortunately the two columns of A are orthogonal to each other. 3 minus 1 minus 2 equals 0. So the columns of A are already orthogonal, which means that we can compute B hat directly using our formula B hat equals the projection on A1 plus the projection on A2. And then we plug in the numbers. A1 in, pro in a product with B equals 10 minus 8 plus 10 uh, equals uh, 12. And then A1 in a product A1 equals 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6 for here. And then the other one, A2 in a product B equals 30 minus plus 8 minus 5 equals 38 minus 5 equals 33. And A2 in a product A2, 9 plus 1 plus 1 equals 11. So there we go. And all the numbers add up nicely. 12 over 6 is just 2. 33 over 11 equals 3. And we can find our B hats to be 11, 1, 1. And now, once we have B hat, we can find uh, X hat because we have to solve A X hat equals B hat. So we form the augmented matrix with A and B hat. First reduction step, add the first row to the second row once and subtract it twice from the third row. And then we see we can divide the second row by 4 and the third row by minus 7, get over here, and oh that's nice, the last row cancels out, and I can uh, eliminate the 3 over there, and we see that our new system is consistent. Yeah, of course it should be consistent, because we made it consistent. So we have our x hat, first component equals 2, second component equals 3, so x hat equals 2, 3, and of course we are also interested how, how good our uh, answer is, or how bad, how big the error is. So we compute z equals b minus b hat, which is minus 1, 7, 4, and we can compute the least squares error, which is in this case the square root of 66. So there we go, we have both found the least squares solution and the error in this specific example.